You see, over 50 years ago, an infant died because of a language barrier at a local Connecticut hospital. Now, that baby's death was the catalyst to creating the Hispanic Health Council. Now, decades later, the organization's efforts are still ongoing. Serving Hartford and the entire state of Connecticut, the Hispanic Health Council promotes health equity while identifying and addressing health disparities within the Hispanic and Latino community. We suffer from many health disparities issues and other social determinants of health that affect our lives and the quality of life that we uh, live in in our city. This is why the HHC says it's vital that they provide culturally competent services. We believe that listening to the community is essential for us to plan, prepare, and execute the programs and services that we have at Hispanic Health Council. You see, the goal is to meet community members where they are, to better their research and advocacy along with their many programs and services. We have uh, nutrition education, breastfeeding programs, wellness uh, services, parent and family learning programs, and from prenatal uh, preconception to old age or to, to the end of the year, right? We do have, provide a range of services to not only Hispanic, Latinos, but other diverse communities. As an HH HC employee and a Latina woman, Joan Cruz says she knows how people of color face disproportionate health and economic impacts and seeing organizations like HHC make a difference keeps her going. I just don't come here just to do a work, right? I come here to help someone else to get better to improve their lives, to leave a quality All right, of so life. the Hispanic Health Council also has Hurricane Fiona relief efforts. That includes raising $10,000 that'll go directly to communities impacted the most in Puerto Rico. Now, they also welcome everyone from Puerto Rico who are here because of Hurricane Fiona, free of charge wellness services. Now, I have more information about all of this online under this story on Fox61.com. We're live in studio for CD Culture this evening. Raquel Harrington, Fox61 News.